Hello! Today we're going to be making another recipe from Mary Crofton's 1895 cookbook that was used at Fort Sheridan. This time we're going to be making hominy bread. The recipe begins by stating two cups of grits boiled, which I've already prepped following the instructions on the package. Then it states into which mix one spoonful of butter. Next it says three eggs beaten separately. For this part, I decided to separate out the yolks from the whites and that decision was based in part on a section of the recipe later on that was a little tricky to figure out. We're going to whisk the three yolks and then add them in. Salt to taste. Now we're to stir in gradually one pint of milk. And then one pint of white cornmeal. Then it says, last of all, the whites. Now this part was a bit confusing, and after some debate and consulting similar recipes, I decided to guess that she meant the whites of the eggs. So I separated those out, and we're going to add those in next. Our recipe ends by stating bake in, spreading one inch in thickness. To accommodate this, I'm using a nine by 13 inch baking dish, which I've pre-greased, and now we're gonna put our mixture into the dish. Now we're gonna spread it out so that it's about an inch in thickness. Since the recipe does not give a baking time or temperature, we're going to make our best guess based on other similar recipes. And we're going to try this in the oven at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And here we have our finished hominy bread. It's a nice warm dish, perfect for a chilly night. Let us know if you try your hand at this recipe and keep an eye out for upcoming posts in this series. Thanks.